Greetings to all friends and regular companions of Blue Cube YouTube channel. I'm Arash Adder, and I'm here to continue teaching Adobe Animate from scratch to mastery. This video, friends, is the first part of character creation and animation. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to go to different sites like Freepik, download a photo or vector character, turn it into an animated character, and create an animation mode for it. The second way is to design and animate a character ourselves. I will teach you both methods. First, we will use a character's photo or vector from different sites to create an animation for it. To have a variety of characters and use them easily, you can visit Freepik. If you enter the Freepik site and search for characters, it will show different characters with components that help in creating animations, whether for ads or entertainment. To download free characters, click the free option, then select the download option and start downloading. To animate the character, you'll see that each character has different components. We import it into Adobe Animate as separate layers. There are two ways to do this. You can use Illustrator or create the parts in Adobe Animate. Let's open Adobe Animate. When you select a character, even if it has multiple parts, moving it with the transform tool shows all components in one layer. To create separate layers, open the file in Illustrator. The folder you downloaded contains various sections, and the image may be in IPS format. Open it in Illustrator. Once the character appears, I choose it, remove the background, and select one of the characters. For example, I select this character, press Ctrl-X to cut, press Ctrl-N for a new document, and choose 1920 by 1080 from the web settings. Press Ctrl V to paste the character into the new document. Hold Shift and resize the character to fit. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click here. All layers of this character are in the Layers panel. Now, we need to separate each layer individually. First, I click here, then on the three-line icon, and select the Release to Layers option. I repeat the same action. This way, the layers are created individually. I delete this empty layer. I select all layers and move them out of this group. I delete these empty layers again. So, you must separate the layers in this way. It's best to rename each layer appropriately here. For example, I'll rename this layer to Head. Yes, I don't want to take your time, so I'll come and save the work. I'll choose it in the File section. I'll select it in the part one want, and I'll name it in the computer, for example, CH1. You can choose any name, and I'll choose the Save option. In this way, this window will open for us. You don't need to make any changes, and I press the OK button. Now it is saved for me. I enter Adobe Animate. In this way, I come to Adobe Animate and create a new document again. If the document is empty, I come to open the import file section of the file that I saved in Stage and Chow. So you can easily see that it shows me all the layers here. I click on the import option. In this way, we import the character. This is how I make the character smaller with the free transform tool, hold down the shift button, and place it in this area. You can see that in the layers section, each section of friends is entered separately. If I turn it off and on, you will see that that part is also turned off. I press Ctrl-1 to see the character in full. It is my document and here I can select each part separately. There, when I changed the name, I wrote head. You can see that the head layer is also entered in this way and is placed here. 
it is very important to make the character with different layers. This was one of the methods. The second method for importing a character is to directly bring the downloaded character file into Adobe Animate without using Adobe Illustrator. In this new document, I go to the file section, import again, import to the stage. I import the original file that I downloaded, not the file that I made, and I import the original file to separate the layers in Adobe Animate itself. Well, you can see the layer that it gives me here. But if I import, you can see that there are only two layers in the format, and it doesn't give me the layers separately. If I click here, you can see that the background is separate. I select and delete the background. I zoom out a bit, select all layers, scale them up slightly, and place them here. I press Ctrl plus 1 to view the full document. Now, to have each layer separately, I select one of the characters and delete the other characters. I select and enlarge this character. Next, select the character, right-click, and choose Break Apart. The shortcut for this command is Ctrl plus B. This option separates the different parts of a character. Now, you can see that by selecting any part of the character, you can move them individually. The issue now is that we only have one layer in the timeline. To solve this, I start selecting each part of the character from the bottom. First, I create a new layer, select the character's shoe, press Ctrl plus X, select the new layer, and in the edit menu, choose Paste in Place. This will place the character's shoes in their place on the new layer. I repeat this process for the other layers. After creating a new layer, I select the shoe again, press Ctrl plus X, select the new layer, and click Paste in Place in the Edit menu. If I now hide the character's main layer, you can see both shoe layers are in place here. I repeat this for all layers. Make sure to place each new layer above the previous ones. Here, you see that each part is created separately, but I want the character's torso in one layer. So, I select all three torso sections and place them in a single layer. To position this arm under the body, I select all three parts and move them under the body layer. Now we have successfully created each layer separately. Be sure to name each layer to make your work easier. I delete the object layer. Now, I want to place the forearm and hand in two separate layers. So, I right-click again and choose Break Apart.
Now I place each part of the arm in a separate layer. I repeat this for the other arm. Now the character is ready for us to proceed with animations such as moving the body, lips, eyes, etc. The final step is to convert each layer into a symbol individually. I select each layer, right click and choose Convert to Symbol. The shortcut for this command is F8. So, to convert other layers to symbols, just press F8. You can give each symbol a name and make sure to set the symbol type to Movie Clip. I repeat this for all layers. I select each layer, press F8, and then click OK. Remember to select the body layer to include all three body sections, then press F8 and OK. So, friends, using these two methods, we have prepared the character with different layers, ready for animation. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. Until the next video, goodbye for now.